Casas. So he's been absolutely lighting up the short course stage throughout this World Cup circuit. Phenomenal performances this by Casas. He won the tournament Water back Water last Water night, so we'll have to keep an eye on his second leg, especially strong in the front half, so the fly back. And the rest of the field is going to try to catch him on that breaststroke and freestyle. So already two wins in Toronto for Shane Casas. He'll try to double the distance. Last night he won the 100 IM. As we see Matthew Sates, the 19-year-old who leads in the standings. He and Cassis are one and two. Cassis will race out of lane four. Sates out of five, right there in the middle of the pool in those two yellow lanes. Short course world record held by Ryan Locke. He set it in Istanbul 10 years ago, 149.63. That is wicked fast. Shane Cassis is in lane number four. He won last week in 151.6. The athletes will start with two laps of butterfly. Pass is looking very strong here. Like I said, he's going to try to get the largest lead possible in the fly back. And then we have some other rest of the fielders that are going to try to catch him on that breaststroke. So Shane Cassis is going to touch and then switch to the backstroke for two lengths. And he's got the lead, comes out of the water. And beside him in lane number three is his American teammate, Trenton Julian. And on the other side is Matthew Sates. But it is all Cassis. Yeah, he's still got about a body length on the rest of the field. Matthew Sates, though, we know he has a distance background, and we also know he's a strong 100 IMer. So we're going to have to keep an eye on him in the second half. Kieran Smith looking good as well in lane number two. In fact, he has moved close to second place here. But it is Shane Cassis now in the breaststroke with 25 meters of breaststroke to go. And he's looking so strong. I don't think anyone's gaining any field there. Here, he actually didn't swim this event in the Berlin World Cup a week ago. So you've got to think he's going to try to put himself on the map in this event. Shane Cassis touches now for 50 meters of freestyle. He's got a two body length lead and trying to chase him down is Matthew Sates and it Trenton Julian and maybe even Finley Knox over there in lane six, the Canadian. Yeah, Finley Knox, if he can have a great last 25, the crowd will get pretty excited in this group. It is Shane Cassis in lane number four trying to better his time last week of 151.6. So oh, yes, a World Cup record. And in second place, it is Danish, it is Finley Knox. Finley Knox takes second place, the Canadian in 152.75, and Trenton Julian third in 152.81. But it is Shane Cassis in that blazing fast time. That was an amazing battle for the podium there. Finley Knox could have been second, he could have been fourth. That was that second to fourth was within a just over a tenth of a second. So it was a very, very tight finish. And that's when it's so much more important for those small details like we talk about. And here we see leading start to finish. It was Shane Cassis, a very strong butterfly. And then in the backstroke, he has to use that as his strength, obviously, as he is mostly known for being a 200 and 100 backstroker. But it's also the point in the IM where you try to get in as much air and oxygen so you can get through that second half of the race. Breaststroke, actually, I was very pleasantly surprised. Beautiful technique, moving through the water very well. And then it's just digging as deep as possible on that freestyle coming home. He kept his head down, coming into the touch. He's got to be happy with that time. A new World Cup record. And just over half a second off of Ryan Lochte's world record as well. So pretty impressive. Maybe he'll be trying to hunt that one down in uh, 